Windows for Dummies was filmed in front of a large studio audience. Okay, see you tomorrow, Karen. Have a good night. Assholes. He's okay, but she's cheating on her husband. I didn't mean them. I meant the boss and his lackey. <clears throat> that was one hours ago. Yeah, well, I couldn't say it then, could I? <laughs> How do you know she's cheating? She came outside to talk on the phone. You mean her husband's not Michael? No, or John, or Barry. Slut. So judgmental. Maybe she has good reason. Like? Maybe he's cheating on her. Maybe he's a bastard. Maybe she's bored. Boredom or grounds for adultery, no one would keep it in their pants. <laughs> you think so? People show their bedrooms, their bathrooms, their babies, year in, year out. It's bound to happen. Why are they assholes? You're the one who's being judgmental. You tell me. <laughs> the boss and his lackey. Well, I guess you were too busy eavesdropping on personal phone calls to hear them discussing the windows. What about them? That fat, ignorant bastard actually called us dummies. <laughs> dummies, can you believe it? Maybe we should move the dummies, he says. What? I know! Maybe mannequins has too many syllables for his fat ignorant tongue to get around. Oscar, can you hear yourself or did that retarded window dresser cover your ears with your wig again? What? He said, maybe we should move the dummies? Yes. And you don't think that's a significant statement? Another pose, another window, could mean anything. Oh. Have you ever seen an aardvark? They didn't hit your head on the lights while they were putting your trousers on, did they? <laughs> Sounds like a fascinating creature, the aardvark. Or an abalone. Have you ever eaten an abalone? Oscar, I'm a mannequin. I don't eat. Nobody wants a fat mannequin. You're not going stir-crazy on me, are you? You try staring at the front page of an encyclopedia all day. <laughs> at least you get to read. I get to stare at a blank screen and listen to a dead phone all day. I can't even watch the punters staring at us, wondering if they'd look as good as we do in these clothes. As if. <laughs> Don't you ever wonder what we're missing? Don't they realise that our limbs are longer than theirs? That no person on this planet could possibly have a waist this small and a bust this high? <laughs> There's got to be more than this, surely. <laughs> and no exercise class in the world is going to give you a butt this firm. <laughs> How long have we been together? What? Why? It's just... Lately, I have the feeling that I should be somewhere else. Where? I don't know. Somewhere. Anywhere. Well, I thought we'd been happy, you and I. I have. I was. But the years go on and you watch your life <laughs> passing you by and... But I think there's something you're forgetting, Oscar. Haven't you noticed that we never age? We won't last forever, Greta. But we will. These new materials, they're incredibly durable. Given the normal wear and tear, we could easily outlast all the humans working here. Didn't you hear that window dresser the other night? She practically said we were a dying breed. She said the new mannequins were much more abstract, mere suggestions of the human form. An arc for the shoulders, two cones for the bust, an arc for the hips, and there you have it. A woman. People will always want to see their clothes on the human form. I don't care what some hipster window dresser says. We're superhumans, Greta. Contemporary women are turned off by superhuman features. <laughs> and contemporary women do most of the shopping. Did you read that under bullshit in the encyclopedia? I haven't got to the bees yet. From the feminist ideal. Oh, really? She has some interesting ideas. She doesn't stare at a blank screen all day. My point exactly. Our lives are being wasted, no matter how short or long they may be. I want to visit Abyssinia, eat an abalone. See an aardvark. I'm happy, Oscar. I like where I am. I'm good at what I do. You like waiting around all day in clothes someone else has chosen for you while punters point and stare and criticise? It's my job. Or having to cower naked behind a sign that reads Everything must go while teenagers with woodies drool on the window outside? It's what I do. <laughs> it's who I am. It's only who you are because you let it be that way. Me? I don't want to spend my life cooped up in some suburban shopping centre waiting for some feral fashion freak to dig her sharp nails into me as she pulls on clothes I wouldn't be seen dead in. I need more. I need... something. Well, maybe I don't. Hi, 
Harold from Holiday Wear. Oscar. Greta, nice to meet you. <laughs> You're new? Yeah, just got in today. Nice place. Been here long? Yes. Not really. <laughs> Sweet. So, uh, holiday wear. It sounds very exotic. <laughs> well, my partner, she's dead hot, but uh, it's not so much you can do with the uh, punter staring in through the window. She said exotic, not erotic. <laughs> As in foreign, unusual. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 it's sweet. <laughs> I imagine you have to see all kinds of places. Yeah, at the moment we're like on this island thing. It's really cool. <laughs> Maybe you should put some clothes on then. Don't listen to him, he's just jealous. He doesn't get to show off his body. Unless there's an everything must go sale, of course. Ah, okay. But, hey dude, you get like a laptop and a mobile phone. I don't get a mobile phone. Yeah, well, someone's got to keep things running around here while you're bludging on a banana lounge on a beach with some bimbo in a bikini drinking fluorescent cocktails all day. You've seen my work! Well, no, you haven't, but uh, we'd love to pop around one night. Wouldn't we, Oscar? I'd burn easily. Maybe I'll wait until the ski season. I guess I'll just have to come around on my own then. Catch a few rates. That'd be fine. But, uh, you'd be seriously overdressed in my world. <laughs> we'd have to do something about that, wouldn't we? <laughs> Ever been to Abyssinia? No, but... Abyssinia soon, I hope, and lots of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, pal, I don't appreciate you wandering over here half-dressed and hitting on my woman. Your woman? Whoa, dude, dude, no drama. I'm just trying to be, like, friendly to the neighbours. You guys look interesting, so I thought, hey, there's somewhere I could get a decent conversation. Because, you know, my woman, she's not so hot in the noodle, if you get my drift. But it must be one of these new polystyrene materials, eh? A bit denser than usual. Yeah, well, what can I say? Some of us really are dummies. See you around, buddy. Your woman? Sorry, I was upset. You were positively territorial. He was a dickhead. You were a dickhead? A minute ago, you're dying to get away from me and suddenly I'm your woman. I wasn't dying to get away from you, I was... Bored? Restless. Oh shit, the window dresses are coming. Shit, not tonight. Guess the boss put the window at them. Christ, you don't think... Relax, Oscar. They'll change our clothes, they'll change our pose. We'll still be here tomorrow. I wouldn't really mind that. I mean, I hope so. Shh, they'll hear you. But I wanted to say that... Shh. Boss says he wants to ranch it up in holiday wear. Could they possibly wear any less clothing? He wants this girl in a bikini. Mum wants something about a threesome. What about the guy? Fashionable, materialistic bachelor with large wallet and overwhelming desire to be free and unfettered. Sounds like a real dummy to me. <laughs>